The sounds of a carpenter. Listen closer and you hear a family legacy. Eric Ajedi Anun is a third generation craftsman and his art is to die for. <laughs> Usually, first thing they would be like, what are you building? So I start by answering them, I'm building a coffin and they'll be like, oh. Eric's coffins are one of Ghana's most unique cultural exports, a business his grandfather started when he merged carpentry and art. They were building the Kotoka International Airport in 1951. So it was during that time this old woman was like, oh, I would love to travel in one of those uh, planes. But she never got to do it until she passed away. So he built her coffin in the form of an aeroplane. That woman was Eric's grandmother. As a little boy, he remembers his curiosity around the family business. Growing up as a kid in the backyard of the house, when you point, you know, the cemetery or the coffins, we would have to bite our fingertips. It was something very scary to us. Honoring his birthright, Eric took up the tools of the trade. In Ghana, his design coffins can sell for $500 to $1,000 and are steeped in a rich tradition. So in Ghana, when somebody dies, we have a period of three weeks to one month or more for the ceremony. Sending loved ones out in style is a fashionable way to celebrate life and is growing in popularity. So on Saturday, when you have a crowd of between 500 to 2,000 people, that is how the coffin becomes so important because everybody wants to have a glance of it and take a photo of it. People would also start to ask, oh, who did that? Who was the artist? And you know, where was that coffin built? So that is where we get our praises. Behind each design coffin, there is a story. The bamboo bee also goes with the story of the disappearance of bees. The corn cup was a piece I built during uh, my five days workshop in Iowa State University. The coffins can also symbolize a hobby, a favorite item, or a person's importance to her community. A coffin of that shape would be made for a chief. The Chazen Museum of Art in Madison is home to Eric's Eagle Coffin. It's a design reserved for people of prominence. Something like um, the eagle we have behind us, they are symbolic coffins. The eagle, the tiger, the stool, the chief staffs. When I see the, a piece like that, I kind of want to see the inside. Sometimes people look at it and they would say, oh, this is not big enough, this cannot contain the body. But any time I build a piece, I build it to my size. And the reason I do that is I consider myself as an average human being. In 2018, Eric took on a project at the Madison Public Library Bubbler. In a creative space where the smell of fresh cut pine fills the air. That's um, not a white pine. I think this is the best wood I've ever used here. This time, his saw and hammer are pounding out a dinosaur, bringing awareness to endangered and extinct animals. It's easy for me, but with this, I always have to carry the model with me and, you know, be thinking of how I want the shape to look like. Because sometimes you might get to a point where you need to stop and think about it. I'm also figuring out how slope it is here on the back. So far to think how this slope. But as soon as you get it and it's flowing, that is when you kind of work really fast. And if you're wondering, Eric has already decided on the coffin design for his journey into the afterlife. 
I do have my coffin already. I have it in the shape of um, my wooden hand plan that I keep with me all the time. That's the plan I've, I've been working with for a very long time. Design coffins are one of the most celebrated forms of African art, and he is fiercely proud of his grandfather's legacy. And the reason I built the aeroplane was, that was how he started. I would say the aeroplane was his first coffin he built for the grandma, so I sort of built it too. This is really a dream to be here to share with people the story of my family and what we do. I mean, that's what has made me who I am today.